The Prime Minister is standing by her beleaguered backbencher Craig Thompson as federal parliament limps towards a two-week break. Mr Thompson is facing a likely police investigation into his use of a union credit card and his union is promising to help in any probe. The opposition is doing all it can to flush out more information, but Julia Gillard says she believes Craig Thompson and retains confidence in him. From Canberra, political reporter Melissa Clark. Once more, for good luck. No other uh, item of business on the notice paper today can be proceeded with until the government lances the boil of the member for Dobell. And Their pursuit of Craig Thompson is relentless, but the coalition can't find the numbers the to force him to speak. Eyes 71, nose 71. There being an equality of votes, I cast my vote on this amendment as has been done in the past with the noes. Nor will the Prime Minister require her backbencher to do or say anything. Prime Minister, why shouldn't Mr Thompson make a statement to Parliament? It's a matter for Mr Thompson. It is the government's job to resolve this matter so that we can all move on. More media allegations over his conduct as the head of the Health Services Union come by the day. None of it is causing Julia Gillard to alter her view of him. Mr Thompson has consistently denied allegations against him. The government is asking its own questions about the coalition referring the matter to the New South Wales Police. Why did George Brandis see fit to ring the New South Wales Liberal Police Minister before sending it to the Police Commissioner? So I am very concerned about the conduct of Senator Brandis in this matter. Senator Brandis says he spoke to the New South Wales Police Minister as a matter of courtesy and that he'd never had a conversation with Police Commissioner Andrew Scipioni. Yesterday, Julia Gillard gave a less than ringing endorsement of Craig Thompson, referring only to her earlier statements of support. Now, when challenged, Julia Gillard says she's not playing semantic games and that the member for Dobell still enjoys her full confidence. Melissa Clark, ABC News, Canberra.